All right, guys, so version 4 had to be completely redesigned because version 3 blew up, and I used PVC risers, which had, like, threads on them for screwing on, like, an end cap or something, and I wanted to upgrade the strength of the PVC, which regular PVC doesn't have threads. So this meant I had to completely change the nozzle, which I ended up going to, as you can see in this photo, a method where I used a washer and a reducing female adapter that press fits onto the end of the pipe. And then I screw, I added six screws around and then packed the clay. That way it wouldn't slip out, which I was afraid of. And it all makes sense in one of the earlier clips when I show me assembling it. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing here is packing in a half inch of clay, adding in the six screws, then packing another half inch of clay because the screws block the wooden dowel from going down. Okay, so for reference, the first rocket was drilled until there was an inch of fuel remaining, and the second rocket was drilled until there was three quarters of an inch of fuel remaining, hence the little labels on the rocket. Okay, so to give a brief rundown for how the second and first stage work together, essentially, as you can see in this video, the second stage is about halfway seated inside of the first stage, and there's a tail attached to the top of it, and a little guide, a little nylon spacer at the bottom of the first stage. That way, the second stage's tail can kind of be guided out from the first stage. At least that's the plan. Yeah. All right, everyone track it if it goes up. Oh my. I lost sight. I lost sight of it. All right, now it's filming.
you get out of the way, Henry? Yeah. Okay, good. Let me get out of there. All right, so once again, both rockets blew up, and um, I think the plan for the next version, version 5, is to just shorten the amount of fuel. Right now, that was 6 inches of fuel. I think I'm going to try 5, 4.5, and, and 4, and that's what I'm going to go for for this next attempt. All right, thanks for watching.